so when you start your loan process the loan officer gives you a pre-approval so once you get the pre-approval in between you're going to be looking for a house so when you get the house then they will approve the house and they are approve you too so in in the meantime these are the things you should not do the 10 don'ts of getting along welcome to living in central massachusetts where we help you make your real estate dreams come true i am juliana dangwa with century 21 excel realty so whether you're looking to buy or sell we have information and insight to help you make your next move today we are discussing the 10 don'ts of getting a loan so when you start your loan process the loan officer gives you a pre-approval so once you get the pre-approval in between you're going to be looking for a house so when you get the house then they will approve the house and they will approve you too so in in the meantime these are the things you should not do if your loan once you have your pre-approval until you close on the house so Number one, do not change jobs or become self-employed or quit your job because the criteria for getting a loan for self-employed is different and obviously if you don't have a job, you can get a loan. Number two, do not, buy, do not buy a truck, a car or a van because you may be living in it because all your ratios can change if you go and buy a big ticket item after you've been pre-approved. Number three, do not use charge cards excessively or let your, your debts fall um, behind because you have to be on track with paying your bills so your credit do not go down. Number four, do not set money that you have set aside for closing because you're going to need that money to close on the loan. Before you close, the loan officer will check and see is that money that you have set aside to close, is it still there in the account? Perfect. So make sure you don't touch that money. Number five, do not omit debts or liabilities from your loan application because whatever you tell them, they will double check. And if you don't tell them everything, they will find out anyway and it may mean you getting the loan or you getting denied. Number six, do not buy furniture. Wait till you get your house before you go shopping for furniture. Because what use is a nice furniture if you don't have a house to put it in. Number seven, do not create any further inquiries into your credit. In other words, don't go out doing, you know, getting more credit and people running your credit. It doesn't. Number eight, do not make large deposit without checking with your loan officer. Because every deposit you make, depending on how much it is, you have to explain where the money came from. Number nine, do not change bank accounts because they need a history of your your statements. So if you change bank accounts, that will mess things up. Number 10, very important, do not co-sign a loan for anyone because that's going to throw everything off and the loan that you started with the pre-approval, you may not get an approval and that means you won't be getting the house. So, keep your financial situation the same way like when you were pre-approved so you can get your keys to your house thank you very much if this video is of value to you subscribe to my channel we'll be bringing you new video every week and click down below the link below to get a copy of our free home buyer guide Thank you for coming to Living with Central, Living the Dream in Central Massachusetts. Bye bye.